Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. It's happening again. Water levels on the Mississippi River are low right now. This comes after last year's historic low water levels on this important river used to move U.S. Ag products to export markets. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us. And Michelle, we're already starting to see some barge restrictions. Yeah, that's right, Clinton, and barge freight rates have also shot up. And transportation officials tell me they're even more concerned about this situation than they were in 2022 because there are areas of the Mississippi River where water levels are lower going into harvest than they were a year ago, and that could mean a potential shutdown in the river during the peak harvest and export season. It's like a bad movie sequel. While water levels on the Mississippi River haven't hit the historic lows of October 2022, readings in some areas are already lower than at the same time last year. You look at places like Memphis, Tennessee, we're actually about 10 feet lower right now than we were at the same period last year. And obviously Memphis was one of the areas that was most adversely affected by the low water conditions in 2022. Uh, the stage is unfortunately set for the problem uh, becoming even worse this year. When you look at St. Louis, we're about three feet lower right now than we were at the same period last year. That's restricting barge loading rates by 15 to 25 percent, and it's also decreasing the number of barges that can move in tow. And then similarly, with the more narrow shipping channel, you you're seeing about another 20 to 25 percent reduction in the number of barges that you're able to attach together to form one single unit. As a result, barge freight rates have soared, making the U.S. less competitive on the export front. When you're looking at freight originating out of St. Louis, we're 77 percent higher than the three year average uh, for freight originating in the Memphis area, 91 percent higher than the three year average. Last year, the same scenario widened grain basis levels out 25 to 40 cents along the river, depending on the location, which cuts into farmers' bottom line. And if the river shuts down altogether, it could limit exports of soybeans during their prime season. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.